Hello and welcome back to our spelling class that we were having. This is now list 26 that I'm introducing and let's go ahead and go down the list and find words that have double letters or two words in the compound words. So as we're looking down we don't see anything until number seven where grammar has two M's and make sure it's A, you remember AR instead of ER so if you need to underline that go ahead. Keep going down you see North Dakota know that it's two words so mark that it's two words and that they have capital letters both capital N and North and capital D in Dakota same thing for number 11 with South Dakota capital S mark that there's a space and then the capital D notice ND and SD don't forget those those are either bonus points or if you don't have them they do get marked off so don't forget those continuing on we see the two L's and personally number 15 and then notice the difference between number 16 and 17. Number 16 is desert, where number 17 is dessert. And here's how I always remember it. You want more dessert, but you don't want to be in a desert. So you want more S's in dessert, just like you want more dessert than you do in desert. Moving on, number 18, roofs. There are two O's in roofs, so don't forget that. And then number 19, appreciate, two P's. And number 19, continuing on, we are moving on. We see number 26, etiquette. There are two T's in etiquette, so mark those, circle those. We have number 28, two S's in excess. And that is all for our double letters and marking for our words. So let's go ahead and start with our sentences and say spell saying these lists together. <coughs> Excuse me. So, here's what's going to happen. Again, I will say the word, I will say the sentence, and then we will say spell say together. You can do this with me every day, or you can say it two times out loud to a mom or a sibling, or just out loud to yourself in a mirror if that helps you to remember the word. So, let's start with number one. Haves. Mom cut the apple into halves for the twins. Halves. H-A-L-V-E-S. Halves. Number two. Headache. The loud noise at the airport gave me a headache. Headache. H-E-A-D-A-C-H-E. -H -E. Headache. Number three. Technique. Her technique of playing the violin was different from the rest of the strings players. Technique. T-E-C-H-N-I-Q-U-E. -E. Technique. Number four, hymn. John Newton wrote the hymn Amazing Grace. Hymn, H-Y-M-N, hymn. Number five, shelves. The shelves in the library are full of interesting books. Shelves, S-H-E-L-V-E-S, -E -E shelves. Number six, mural. Lily painted a mural at the gymnasium, on the gymnasium wall. Mural, M-U-R-A-L, mural. Number seven, grammar. It is important to use good grammar when you speak and write. Grammar, G-R-A-M-M-A-R, grammar. Number nine, actual. Heaven is an actual place. Actual, A-C-T-U-A-L, actual. North Dakota. North Dakota is one state that borders Canada. North Dakota, capital N-O-R-T-H space, capital D-A-K-O-T-A, -A, North Dakota, N-D. Number 11, South Dakota. The famous Black Hills are located in South Dakota. South Dakota, capital S-O-U-T-H space, capital D-A-K-O-T-A, -A, South Dakota, S-D, or capital S, capital D, excuse me. Number 12, Conqueror. Cortez was the conqueror of the Aztec Indians. Conqueror, C-O-N-Q-U-E-R-O-R, -E -R, Conqueror. Number 13, Ourselves. Mother allowed Haley to, and me to get ourselves some ice cream after school. Ourselves, O-U-R-S-E-L-V-E-S, -E -E Ourselves. Number 14, scenic. We enjoyed our scenic drive through the country last week. Scenic, S-C-E-N-I-C, -E -I -I -C, scenic. 
Number 15, personally. Mr. Ames talked to each student personally about his salvation. Personally, P-E-R-S-O-N-A-L-L-Y, personally. Number 16, desert. The dry, sandy desert of the Southwest is the home of many snakes and lizards. Desert, D-E-S-E-R-T, desert. Number 17, dessert. My favorite dessert is ice cream. Dessert, D-E-S-S-E-R-T, dessert. Number 18, roofs. It was cold enough for icicles to form on the roofs. Roofs, R-O-O-F-S, roofs. Number 19, appreciate. I appreciate how cooperative you are being. Appreciate, A-P-P-R-E-C-I-A-T-E, -P -P -E. appreciate. Number 20, bouquet. The colorful bouquet of flowers brightened the room. Bouquet, B-O-U-Q-U-E-T, Bouquet. And remember, when you see a Q, know that there's usually, almost 99% of the time, a U that will follow it. Excuse me. So that is bouquet. Number 21, artificial. The artificial roses looked real but had no scent. Artificial. A-R-T-I-F-I-C-I-A-L. Artificial. Number 22, vicious. The Pharisees told vicious lies about Jesus. Vicious, B-I-C-I-O-U-S, vicious. 23, responsibility. Oh, let me pause there. I actually have not been saying the definitions with you. So let's go back to 21. We'll say, spell, say, number 21 with the definition and 22, and then we'll continue as normal with 23. So let's go back to 21. Artificial, A-R-T-I-F-I-C-I-A-L, artificial, imitation, not real, artificial. Number 22 is vicious, V-I-C-I-O-U-S, vicious, fierce, spiteful, vicious. Number 23 is responsibility. It is my responsibility to wash the supper dishes, responsibility. R-E-S-P-O-N-S-I-B-I-L-I-T-Y. Responsibility. Duty. Responsibility. Number 24. Precede. The pr a prayer always precedes our meal. Precede. P-R-E-C-E-D-E. -E -E. Precede. To come before. Precede. Number 25. Character. Your... Your actions and attitudes show what kind of character you have. Character, C-H-A-R-A-C-T-E-R, -A -A -E character. What a person is when no one is looking, character. Number 26, etiquette. Please practice proper etiquette at the table. Etiquette, E-T-I-Q-U-E-T-T-E, -E -T -T -E. etiquette. Or see there, there's that Q-U again we were talking about. So etiquette, the rules of polite behavior, etiquette. Number 27, straight. The Bering Strait connects the Atlantic and Pacific Ocean. Straight, S-T-R-A-I-T, straight. A narrow waterway connecting two larger bodies of water, straight. Number 28, excess. The excess turkey from Thanksgiving dinner made great sandwiches. Excess, E-X-C-E-S-S, -S, excess, extra, excess. Number 29, pageant. The coronation of Queen Elizabeth was a spectacular pageant. Pageant, P-A-G-E-A-N-T, pageant. An entertainment with scenes from history, a splendid show, pageant. Number 30 is antique. The antique clock was at least 50 years old. Antique. A-N-T-I-Q-U-E. Antique. Something made long ago. So that is our spelling list 26 for this week. So make sure you are working on those and studying those words correctly so that that number list 26 is 
done for the trial test for next week and that you are ready for it. I hope to see you again and hopefully, maybe, we'll see if we are able to do Skype either at the end of this week or the beginning of next week. So I will see you then, hopefully, and if not, I'll see you in the next spelling list. Bye!